Okay, two here. One here, one there. Young people want to be involved. They want having a voice, they want to be heard, they have things they want to say. We want voting to be something that they do as adults, so we try to provide those opportunities for them from a young age to help civic experiences like voting become part of a habit that they form, become something that they feel comfortable with. We've been working with Minnesota Civic Youth to provide the in-school mock elections where students are being able to work with ballots that look like our Minnesota ballots. We have an actual ballot counting machine, just like they can expect to see once they become voters. Teachers aren't supposed to talk about their own political views, and I like that because we are curious. They push us to research both sides. What the government classes will really focus on, it's teaching them how do you find out the resources so that you can make an educated vote. I'm actually going to vote tomorrow, and um, the reason why I think is important is because the people that I am voting for, they have our future in their hands. Kids voting is a mock election. So today students saw the ballot that represents the district in which Riverview is located. Fourth and fifth graders were chosen to be election judges and they came in and they were super excited to have the responsibility of being an election judge and guide younger students through the process. I think Students would be more inclined to vote when they are reach adulthood if they have the experience throughout their educational career. And it's important because some people didn't have the right to vote. The kids' vote has taught me how to vote. Students are interested in politics and government. We have evidence of that. We have 30 students who will be serving as election judges on November 6th and they are excited and eager to work alongside election judges and see democracy in action. I wanted to learn the process of how to vote and because of this experience I can teach my family members and community on how to vote. I'm really grateful for this opportunity to be a part of how our government works even though I can't vote yet. It's, it really means a lot that I can help in the process of voting. I've lived in the U.S. for 12 years and I never knew how the voting system was like, so this is going to be my first year. By being a, an election judge, you're on site, you're promoting democracy, ensuring democracy, seeing how it works, and hopefully we create that pattern of being a lifelong voter.